Hey, what's going on everyone? This is David with Sat Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to unlock your LG G5. Welcome back guys. So for you out there that are a LG G5 uh, user, I'm going to be showing you exactly what steps to take in order to get your device unlocked. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm on my LG G5 right now and I purchased this phone from AT&T. Okay? So um, last night right at 9 o'clock, between 9 and 9.30 I mean, I um, found this website. I uh, go ahead and put my information in, I put my IMEI number in, and with less, I want to say probably 12 hours, between 6 and 12 hours, I don't remember the exact time frame, but I definitely know it was under 24 hours, I got an unlock code to unlock my G5. As soon as I put that in, I had my G5 fully unlocked, so now I can go through any carrier uh, that I want. So right now, as you see, I'm a T-Mobile customer. I was with AT&T, and now if I decide in the future to change T-Mobile and go to like Verizon Wireless or Metro PCS, things like that, the SIM card will work for this device. So in order to get everything started, the main thing you need to do is go into your settings on your device. You wanna go where it says about device, and you wanna go right here where it says status. It's gonna say my phone number, IMEI, and etc. okay? There is my IMEI number. You make sure that it's a 15 digit number and also make sure that you put the correct IMEI number in. If you do not put the IMEI number in correctly and you find a website you want to go to, you put you put the IMEI number in and you're off by a digit, maybe two digits, the consequences are going to be very, very bad because if you enter a wrong IMEI number and they send you a code through your email and you try that code, there's only so many times you can try it. I learned this the hard way because of the fact that on the LG G5, they give you 10 tries to use a code to unlock your device. If you get all 10 codes wrong, then your device is completely locked forever. There's nothing you can do to go back and change it. You're screwed. So you wanna make sure that you enter the right IMEI number in the very first time, okay? now. This website is legit. This is the website that I used. It's called The Unlocking Company. I found this website on XDA threading. Okay, Basically, they're having a list of you know threads uh, explaining to everybody that goes to XDA to look up things like this to make sure these websites are legit and not scam artists. You know, um, before I found this website, I purchased the unlock code to uh, two different websites they were both scams and I just wasted thirty dollars for nothing okay by using this site and it is legit because I got my device unlocked uh, through them it was thirteen ninety nine it wasn't it, it wasn't it wasn't expensive you know it was fairly reasonable price and to order you know get your lock code to unlock your device under 24 hours that's even better so I got the uh, email this morning and uh, I'll go ahead and show you to show you guys that hey you know I did get it for sure um, so let me see uh, welcome da, 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 right here unlock code <clears throat> I clicked on this this morning right here where it says 837269 da, 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 da. this was the actual code number I had to put into the G5 and the first try actually unlocked there haven't been a lot of people out there saying that they are scam artists or, you know, uh, I got a code that n never worked or blah, blah, blah. You know, with this website, you have to be very, very careful because in the description of the uh, email that I've gotten, I'll go back to it and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. It says right here, basically, if it doesn't work, don't worry about it. Uh, they want you to email them back and letting them know um, what, what code they provided you did not work. They want the name of the carrier, their model, and the IME for the second time to make sure that you put the information that was in uh, the very first time correct. 
um, is also specifying that there is no refund so if you spend $13.99 to unlock your device you will not get a refund but don't have to panic or worry about okay well I'm just gonna throw my money away not necessarily no if they give you an unlock code 99.9% .9 of the time it's gonna be accurate but you know you can't always sit there and say well the first code I'm gonna get is always gonna be right it's not necessarily true um, there could be two or three times you have to try to get the code for the LG phone now when I went to these two other websites before I got scammed I forgot the name of the websites because it's been a while back but they could not get the code to my LG G5 to unlock it so they had to like send me different codes it took three days because I had to wait a 24 hour uh, you know basic 24 hours to get that code so everything all the questions to your answers will be on your confirmation email if you decide to go through the unlocking company I will leave a link in the bottom description if you guys want to go check this out I promise you it's hundred and ten percent easy I mean under 24 hours get your unlock code it's perfect Basically right here on the manufacturer, just go ahead and click your device. I'm going to go ahead and just go LG, LG model, whatever LG model you have, just go ahead and hit that. So I'm going to go ahead and just do G5 again. Go ahead and hit unlock. Now if you guys got PayPal, you can pay with PayPal. If you don't have PayPal, you can always go ahead and I'll show you uh, further down uh, of this step by step to where you can pay with a debit card. Now, if you guys don't want to email them, if you want full customer service, there's a number right there as you can see. Uh, the 619 area code number call them or you can email them with the emails listed below and you can get fast response customer service 24 7 okay so after you complete the first step go down and select your network that the actual phone is locked to okay so you're in the United States if you're not go ahead and select your country AT&T was where my G5 was locked to go ahead and hit next okay and then right up at the very very top they're going to show you steps that you need to continue in order to get the code so right now they're providing the IMEI number so you go down here you'll put your phone's IMEI your full name your delivery email now this is very important because you want to make sure you give them the correct email because that is the only way they're going to send you the unlock code for your device so make sure when you put your email in it's accurate okay after you get done doing that I'm going to just go ahead and show you da -da 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 -da. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and put um, David. And I'm gonna go ahead and put Thomas. Okay, I'm not a very good speller, so. And then you'll put your email down. And I'm gonna put. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put my my email. No big deal. Hit order now. And right here is gonna say our price $13.99. And then if you go to the bottom, uh, it's going to say you confirm your payment basically. And so this is the information you gave them. Uh, lock to AT&T, your uh, IMEI, your country, your email, and your full name. So make sure you go over this. Make sure everything is accurate. You can go ahead and hit with PayPal. Or if you don't, uh, if you want to use a debit card, go ahead and still click on PayPal. After you click on PayPal, they're going to give you an option for debit card. So you go ahead and you put your debit card information in and hit confirm. And it'll be, uh, it, will, it will take you right into another page saying, congrats, you paid, you know, whatever the amount is. So right now over here, it says average delivery time, 5 through 60 minutes. Not necessarily that was the right time. Again, I got it, I want to say between 6 to 12 hours. I don't remember the exact time because I did it at 10 o'clock between, no, it was between 9 and 9.30 when I did it originally. And I woke up this morning and it was about 10 a.m. and about 10.30 I received the email for the unlock code, so it was perfect timing. So yeah, um, also guys, when you do this, again, please go over your information, make sure that everything is accurate. You might want to go ahead and check your IMEI number two or three times just to be sure. Again, if you get the IMEI number wrong, it's going to totally mess you up. You're going to have to get, you know, no refund can't happen. You know, once you put that IMEI number in, you can't put a different one in and say, well, I entered the wrong one. Could I replace that? No, you would have to pay another $13 or whatever the amount is again to get that unlock code for your device. Okay. So once you go ahead and you get done doing that, um, you're going to get a, a code through your email. Go ahead, enter that code into your G5. As you can see here on the left-hand side, this is actually what it's going to look like 
uh, right when you're about to enter the code. And once you get done entering the code, go ahead and hit OK. And then voila, your, uh, your T-Mobile or AT&T or whatever carrier you're going through, it's going to show up on the top left corner of your device where the display is at. And whatever SIM card you want to use, the G5 under, that's the G5, uh, so that's the SIM card you want to put into your G5. So remember, that's very, very important in order to get that network unlocked. Once you get done doing that, you, if you're going through T-Mobile like I am, and this is another important th uh, step you need to consider doing too, is going into your settings of your G5, you want to go into your mobile networks. Once you go into your mobile networks, you want to go where it says access point names, okay? Now, automatically you're not going to see this T-Mobile US LTE, you're not going to see that right when you're going to um, create a new access point names you want to go ahead and hit add APN now right here under edit access point everything is going to be either auto filled in or nothing has been set if you got a G5 like I'm doing a video on this is going to be particularly for LG LG G5 only go to T-Mobile webpage on Google search up APN settings uh, for LG G5 Go ahead and do search results for that. Once you find it, and look, I'll even show you on here. Um, that way you get an idea exactly what to look for. So we're gonna go to uh, APN settings for the LG G5. Go ahead and click that. And then you wanna go to all, oh, okay, cool, so it's set. So you'll get this APN and data settings if you're not entirely sure if this is made for the LG G5, all you gotta do is just go hit the network and APN where it says the LG G5 T-Mobile. Click that, which brings you here. This is gonna give you step-by-step -step exactly how to get the network connected with your SIM card to the T-Mobile network. So you wanna go by step-by-step-by-step, -by -step -by -step. make sure you do exactly what it's telling you because everything you need to put in is automatically right here. So you go ahead and start with name, APN, proxy port, username, password server, MMSC, MMS proxy, MMS port, MMS protocol, MCC, and NC. So the, uh, right here where it says authentication type, you're not gonna find that in your APN settings, so you don't need to worry about that. The APN type, um, I would really suggest putting internet plus MMS because it gives you options to either not set or just go and type in or internet MMS. Type in internet plus MMS just to be on the safe side. Your APN protocol is important. You make sure it's the exact same way you have it listed here. And the APN roaming protocol, make sure the, it's the exact same thing there as well. And then once you get done, don't worry about the bearer unspecified or enable disable APN grayed out. Don't worry about all that. As soon as you get done with the APN protocol, go ahead on the top right corner and I'm going to show you. Once you get done entering that information, let me show you. As soon as you get done doing that last part, right here where the three pings are at, is you want to hit save. As soon as you get done doing save, you want to go back out of your APN settings, okay? And then you want to go where it says network operators. You want to go ahead and hit search networks. Now as soon as that gets done, it might take a minute, it might take two minutes. It took me exactly two minutes. So it was a while, but make sure that your timeout doesn't go off on your device, otherwise it's going to mess up the whole searching for the network error. So keep your display on, wait for the networks to get done searching for it. As soon as you get done, if you guys are in the U.S. and you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're grabbing this. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to look for. So I'm going to go back into, where are you, mobile networks, access point names. And right here is what you're looking for, T-Mobile US LTE. Click on that. As soon as you get done clicking on that, you want to leave, get out of all this crap. You want to reboot your device. As soon as you reboot your device and it comes back on, you're going to see your 4G LTE. You're going to see your name carry that you're going with, which is T-Mobile that I'm going through, and then you're pretty much done. Um, also, just to be on the safe side, guys, go ahead and make a test call and do a test SMS to somebody or to yourself. And then, like again, it should work. I'm 99.99% sure this will work the way I've showed you. So in 
all actuality, your calls are going to work, your text messages are going to work, you're going to have 4G LTE data, everything that you have done to your device is now fully unlocked with the carrier you choose to, choose to go through. Now, I got bad news about this. Once you unlock, and a lot of people are not going to tell you this, because I had to find this out the hard way. When you unlock your LG G5 to whatever network you choose to go through, you're not going to get manually every month manual updates. Okay, T-Mobile or whatever carrier you're going through, they're not going to push out any updates for the device that you're on. And the reason why I say that is because basically you're not using a T-Mobile phone. You are using an unlocked branded phone that you got originally when you got the device. The only way to get basically every month updates on your device is you have to have a custom ROM installed into your device. If you're using Cyanogenomod or whatever the case, whatever ROM um, you know you're going through, you would have to have your device with custom ROM to get manual updates on a monthly basis. Okay, so if you're running Android 6.0.1 and you're going to put in a custom ROM of whatever you decide to throw into your device, you'll get updates through your carrier uh, the same day it comes out. So let's say for an example, uh, me, I have the LG G5, I'm going through T-Mobile. Yes, my G5 is unlocked, but I'm not going to get any you know, monthly updates or security patch updates, nothing. The only way I would have to do that is download a custom ROM, put it in my device, and whenever T-Mobile pushes out um, an update, it could be anything from OS software, it could be anything from um, security patches, things like that. That's the only way you're gonna get it. Now, um, I'm not really big on how to do custom ROMs. I'm actually still learning how to do that. As soon as I get done learning how to do that, because I have another G5 I'm going to test it on, because eventually I would like to put an upgrade on my G5. When I do figure that out, and I figure out how to install the custom ROM into my G5, I will definitely make a video on that. I'll do step by step by step exactly how to do that, what you need to do, what you actually have to need to get this done, and etc. So be patient with me guys. It might be a couple of weeks, it might be a couple of months. I'm more hands-on than I am visually, okay, or verbally, sorry. So other than that, guys, I hope this video did help you guys. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the bottom description of this website, The Unlocking Company. If you want to go check it out, you'll have that link ready for you guys. And um, what I'm going to go ahead and do also is put down in the bottom description about, uh, you know, no refund policy, things like that, so you guys can understand what you're getting yourself involved to before moving any forward, moving any more further, getting your device unlocked. So until then, guys, thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you all on the next video. Peace.